All right, guys, what's up? Changing it up today. Doing a bit of a different ride. But that isn't too very. Testing out the uh, 2021 CRF 450L. So that's gonna be pretty sweet. There she is right behind me. I'm pretty excited to say the least. This is Honda's top of the line kind of model. The kind of a mix of commuter slash highway before you hop, hop up to like the Africa Twin, which is like full on adventure highway bike. So it's gonna be nice to try out and uh, let's see if we can do a review on it. Hit a warm up. Quiet. Like this is a fantastic bike so far. Let's do some flyby shot.
don't want to knock the mirrors off. Well, it doesn't feel too heavy in the front end. Realistically, I could drop the pressure in the front tire and it would probably handle much better even in the rear. We'll probably set up for full street test rides here. We are checking out the brand new 2021 CRF 450 RL. This is Honda's go-to top-of-the-line off-road adventure kind of bike. It's a do-it-all everything bike. So it's got a 450 engine in it. It comes with LED lights all around, which is an upgrade from the 250 turning into the 300, which is really nice. So it looks fantastic. It performs really well. This thing's definitely got enough snap to it that no matter what trail or what activity you're doing, it's gonna take it. Riding around, I've definitely found that, would I take this to a motocross track? Probably not, but any trail, any off-road kind of area, I would definitely take this thing to it. It's got enough snap that off the line or off the road or at a red light, it's gonna take off. It's got enough power to pull you up those hills and it's lightweight enough that you're actually gonna be able to handle and throw this bike around even in some loose sand and some play around kind of traily technical stuff. Some of the things I change is those mirrors, I just get to something which will fold a little easier. Otherwise, that's about it. Even the new rear end on it, I wouldn't change because it's such a nice kit to it. It's those smaller aluminum piece to it instead of the old school one, old school, two, three years old. They used to have quite a large plasticky metal filled one which weighed like 10 pounds. This thing is much more lightweight than that in just that rear end eliminator kit which it kind of comes with. There are some nice ones out there. Obviously, if you go online, there's tons of people with these CRF 450 RLs with like some huge upgrades to them with the the LED light eliminators, the tail light eliminators, everything. But stock, this is actually a really fantastic bike. Like I say, cruising around town, superb. I didn't even leave third gear in town here and it had more than enough power. Actually, possibly too much. It reminded me of my CBR 600 RR I used to have where almost it's hard not to go under the speed limit. It's hard to go under the speed limit. It's really smooth to ride. I took it on some off-road kind of trails and did some jumps with it. And it actually, it's soft obviously, but it's still kind of responsive to it that when you turn a corner and throttle in, it's got some kick to it. I do like the suspension on it. It is tuned just right. Um, I don't think you'd need to tweak it if you kind of do an all purpose with it. I know I've seen some people switch out to MX kind of style suspension to it. If you're doing some really off-road stuff check out Cole Seeley's video on his you can make this a race bike but if you're just cruising around town this is an amazing bike for you on highway superb I was cruising along at like 115k an hour no issue felt like I had three quarters of the throttle left so I could even see myself doing some bigger adventures on this into that territory of the Africa twin obviously with the downside with the 450 is you're not gonna be able to load it up as much as the Africa, Africa Twin would be. So you're not gonna be able to do these multi-day or multi-week adventures. A multi-day ride up to a campsite, 
do it, you're gonna load this up really nicely. It's gonna handle all that additional weight. Where you're getting like big pannier attachments, that's where this thing isn't made for. This is from your home to the track or your home to the trail bike, go for an adventure and ride home. Instead of trucking out a bike, you can just take this thing and it really, really does its job well. Tires on it are actually really good. They're quite an aggressive knobby setup to it. So I don't think even for most people, you'd need to switch them out to something else unless you're doing a lot more gravel. But even then in the looser stuff, it's still handled really well with these ones. And I have them pumped up to probably 40 pounds. So it's really great on the highway. Could be better if I just drop that pressure down to 30 PSI. One thing I will say is it is insanely quiet. Um, that's up for uh, uh, argument, I guess is what the word is. Some people would say it's fairly quiet. Everyone I ran into who has a motocross bike, it's an insanely quiet bike. Everyone who just doesn't have any bikes said it was a very loud bike. I personally would look for a new exhaust on it and make it as loud as possible. Be that asshole because I like that. Otherwise, mirrors and an exhaust would be the only things I change. One little note I did notice is it does not even come with a passenger rear peg. So it is not designed, it, or it is designed for one person to get on it, go on an adventure and come home. It's not designed for a second rider, which is kind of interesting in the category of bike it is. like. Many of them have it, even like a XT200 has passenger pegs. So I'm not really sure why they chose not to. Maybe it keeps that frame as similar to the 450 race bike as possible. So they haven't added any extra subframe to it. it keeps it lightweight, keeps it playful. That would be my conclusion to it. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not gonna compare it to the 450 race bike because it's not the 450 race bike. Yes, it shares the similar engine to it, pretty much the same but there's a lot different. You can see it's got a much bigger clutch. It's got a bigger water pump. It's got a fan. It's got lights. It, it, you know, it's too far away. It is the CRF 450R, and I do believe that they have kept it as close to that while making it fully road legal, but also road capable. Because there's a difference. You could take a 450R and just turn it into a road legal bike, but it would be absolutely terrible and just living in the city. Could you imagine accelerating from stoplight to stoplight on a race bike? It just wouldn't work. Even highway speeds, you'd be tucked in absolute throttle. Switching that gear setup is making a big change and it's making a worthwhile change. It's still got that 450 snap, but it's definitely softer. It's way more controlled. I'm not gonna just do the whiskey throttle and throw the bike back up and over. But coming off a red light, I was easily able to bring that front wheel up without even trying just by getting it all the way around. Price tag wise, it's up there. Um, it's like 12 grand Canadian. Um, I think that puts it at 10,000 US. It's really fantastic. They may have won anyone who test rides this over. That being said, I'd love to try the new 300, which would be like a 200, obviously math, but with just that little more power that in the higher speeds on the highways and the longer ride stuff that that would handle it a lot better. You still get to get a lightweight poppy bike. It is a shame in a way that the 250, they take away the LED lights and all the kind of nice fancy features which cosmetically make this bike so amazing looking. But I guess that's what you gotta pay for. Price wise, I do think it's fairly reasonable. It's expensive but compared to a car, it's still cheaper than a car and the air conditioning doesn't affect a fuel mileage. So I don't know what to call this video. It's not really a review. It's just a ride and an opinion to it. It's a fantastic bike. It rides so good on every single area I took it. That was on the road, that was on the highway, that was on fresh gravel, that was on old gravel, old dirt roads, out in the field, through the trees. It rode really, really well. And I don't really have a complaint about it. For what this bike is, for the price you pay, where you could take it, the possibilities are really endless. Like, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. Except I don't own one yet, so. Let's comment and like and stuff below. Let's get Honda, I'll be a rep, something along those lines, let's do this, all right guys? All right, hopefully this was entertaining for all the people who have been here before with the mountain bikes. If you like mountain bikes, you'll probably like dirt bikes. If you don't want a dirt bike and you want to just rip around town, go for the CRF 450L. I'm excited to try some other bikes out over the summer here. Good luck.